throw in here. Okay, I figured out how to get the phone working. <laughs> okay, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about um, patterns and the bottom of energetic patterns and not being fooled when it looks like a pattern quote unquote ends, right? So if you are familiar with journaling, you know, and self transformation and development, etc. You know, you know when you're journaling and you're going through a pattern and you're writing what you feel and like what's underneath that, what's underneath that, what's underneath that. And sometimes when you're in these patterns, you'll like get to this place where it'll seem like the pattern ends. You'll either start writing things like I'm not sure or I don't know or mm, I'm just like you just can't seem to get into it. And if you're feeling into the body while you're doing these sort of patterns, like what it can feel like is like a numbness. Like you're like, you literally are like, I just don't know. And time and time again, when somebody comes to me and they're like, oh, I just don't know. I'm like, you do know. And so what we do is we just kind of like a ninja go underneath that. Okay. So when you are transforming things, creating things, moving through patterns of reality, patterns of consciousness, you can move underneath energetically a pattern and see what's under that, okay? So there are no like quote unquote stopping points even though it may look like that, right? And if your core archetype is a Merlin archetype, you'll definitely be like, oh yeah, well we'll just go underneath that, right? So what I wanted to talk about today was how I see this visually when I'm tracking a pattern or when I am tracing a pattern with my consciousness and getting to the end or to the bottom. And it's very easy to transform things when you get to the energetic core of something and that does not need to be hard and that does not need to take a long time. Now there may be energetic levels, many levels, there may be many levels of emotion, okay? But those things can easily be moved through, they can easily be transmuted and you can easily just go to the bottom of a pattern, change it at the core, and then it changes everything else, right? And when you change things on that level of reality and on that level of your consciousness, and then it changes things in your 3D reality. So a lot of times if someone has had a pattern, they've had something going on and they've had it going on for a long time, that doesn't mean that it's hard or difficult to change or that it's gonna take a long time. It just means they probably haven't gone to the level of reality where it was created and changed it there. Right? Or they've been using some method that is not the method that is most useful for changing that pattern. So for patterns that feel like they quote unquote end, where it feels like, well, yeah, you can only go so far and then you're not sure and then you feel kind of this like, this like numbness or this like, I don't know, or this like dissociation thing, it's probably because there's a part of a self, like a part of the personality that's fragmented out of the body that can easily be brought back in. You know, I personally wouldn't use like language in order to do that. I would use energy work to do that. I would use archetypes to do that. I would use having like a journey in my mind in order to change and shift that. You know, I probably wouldn't use journaling, although I guess you could. But sometimes I see people, they're like, they'll talk about, you know, some issue or problem that they had and I can feel like what the energetic distortion is. And they're like, oh, it took me six months to figure this out. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> it's like, no, <laughs> doesn't it take six months? It took you six months because you were doing the, like the hardest thing possible in order to change that pattern. Like you weren't doing energy work. That's why it took you so long. But that's another story entirely. It's fine. Some people just don't know. So, you know, let me, I want to talk about how this pattern looks on a visual archetype level. So. Okay, let me give you an example. A realm. A lot of times when I'm doing energy work, and when I say energy work, I mean I'm changing my brain frequency. Ah. Excuse me, I'm changing my brain frequencies from beta. Like right now, I'm in beta. I'm talking to you, chit chatty, whatever. I'll move my brain frequencies down into mm, more like a past alpha. Alpha is kind of when you're like daydreaming, and then under that is like a theta, like a light theta state. So theta state is where like healing happens. That's where spontaneous healing and things just like change out of nowhere. It's that uh, brain pattern, which you of course can train your brain to do that. About 10 years ago when I was moving into those theta states, I remember it was hard for me to hold them. Like I would like blank out because I wasn't used to being able to run like theta and beta at the same time, like run the theta state and stay awake, which I can do very easily now. But at the time it was like really hard. So anyways, 
Anyway, back to my story. When you move down in the theta and you address a pattern from the level of theta consciousness, then it's very easy to change it. Then it's very fast to change it. And <laughs> it's funny as I'm talking about this, like I can feel, like I can feel my ancestors and guides with me. <laughs> so what I'm wanting to say is that when you move down in that theta state, it's very easy to change a pattern. So for instance, if I am guided to see a pattern visually in my mind, okay, like to do like a miniature, almost shamanic journey, and shamanic journeying is something I've gotten into relatively recently in the past year. And when I did, I was like, oh, like I've been doing this for years. I just wasn't calling it a shamanic journey. Like I didn't really think about that. It was just the way my brain was naturally an infolding, unfolding, changing, transmuting energy. Sometimes it would end up looking like a journey in my mind. And like I would create like a realm. I don't know if I created it, but it's kind of like, when I would go into that theta state and I view the pattern from a visual perspective, it would end up looking like a realm or like a place or like a, um, like a landscape. I guess that's a good way to put it. So normally if I'm going to do that, I'll get in my cosmic elevator in my mind, I'll ask the cosmic elevator, take me to the pattern. I'll go to the pattern. And you know, when I get out of the elevator, whatever's happening is what's happening. Like if there's a lot of like swirling black smoke and things like that happening, generally I know hmm, there's some sort of thing here where there's aspects of self. There's a part of the pattern is out of the body. So obviously I'll move through the smoke, see what's on the other side and see what's there. Um, if I, you know, open the doors and sometimes I'll see like a meadow or trees. A lot of times I see landscapes similar to that. Um, one in particular I'm thinking of, you know, there was a meadow, there was trees, it was a dark meadow. I mean, it wasn't like it was like bright and sunny outside. Everything was kind of mildewy and like kind of droopy. Well, in the landscape, I remember the landscape is a representation of the pattern in consciousness. So I'm in the landscape and there are three pools of water. And so I move down through the different pools of water and at the bottom of them are aspects of me. Right? So I can see myself down there and I am chained. And so of course I undid the change, li lift those aspects of self out of the water and reintegrated them into self. We can get into all day long as to what the meadow meant, what the water meant and all of that and what the chains meant. You know, I used to think a little more about that, about like what that stuff like meant. But really at this point, like I don't care <laughs> to a large degree. I'm just like changing the pattern, click, 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 changing it. Cause like I've done this a million times. So integrate the aspects of self. There was an aspect of my mother in there and you know, I calibrated, I asked them like, well, what is this? And I was like, what came to me? I was like, oh, well, this is like a personality fragment of my mother. It's in my field. It doesn't need to be there. Okay. So moved it out of my field, reintegrated into her field, put it over there. That's where it belongs, right? She doesn't belong in my field. I belong in my field. Nobody else belongs in here. Right. And so after that, a lot of things like dramatically shifted and changed. Um, regarding that pattern that I was working on. And so I feel like I've gotten mildly off track. I want to talk to you guys about when it looks like a pattern ends. Okay. So when it looks like a pattern ends, sometimes visually I'll be in a pattern and I will, it looks like the pattern ends, right? But it, it doesn't actually end. What you do is you just shift dimensional frequencies to where the pattern has continued, right? Cause there's probably some sort of energetic maybe like an energetic bubble, like that pattern's in a certain energetic bubble. And then there's like another energetic bubble. The pattern continues, but it's almost like there's this thin, like membrane kind of separating this one pattern from where the pattern continues. And so what you do is you just decide you're just going to jump from this pattern to that pattern. The pattern is continuing and you're just going with it. Like it's not, it's not an ending. It just like looks like an ending. So, <clears throat> I'm trying to use visual words to explain something that I experience that I've never actually really thought about how to put into words until now. I'm trying to explain it to you guys. So in the pattern, you know, you can just dimensionally shift. And I've done that multiple times. I'm standing there in a pattern. I'm looking around. I'm like, hmm, it looks like it ends. I'm not fooled by that. It's not freaking done. Like, and I know that it's not done. And I'll just be like, okay, well, you know, let me just move dimensionally to where the pattern continues. And I do that by just deciding. And then the whole landscape will morph and change. And then I'll be to where the pattern continues, right? I might be in a new world, a new realm, a new sort of landscape. And I'll follow that landscape. Sometimes I have multiple landscapes. And to me, these different landscapes 
represent emotional states in the body, right? And it's just my subconscious is bringing it out in a visual way for me to interact with and see, right? So it's a way to like create this 3D matrix situation where you can shift and change things in the matrix, right? Which is actually shifting everything in your reality realm so that when you come back to, th to theta, right? To normal waking reality, everything is different and everything has changed and the emotional states in the body are different. Completely different. Totally different. 100% different. So, <clears throat> I find that if when people are struggling with something and they've been struggling for a while, there's generally multiple states of emotion in the body and there's multiple patterns. And some of those patterns are in different dimensional places, which is why it's hard for people to like rectify that in their consciousness and change it and, you know, be whole again. Right, particularly if there's some sort of like shattering in the energy field with multiple shards. Those shards can all be picked back up. They can be cleared and transmuted and reintegrated into the body. And that may take one session. That probably would take multiple sessions in order to do something like that. But it is very doable. It's very easy. It's not freaking hard. We're just not taught in our society. It's just a not, it's not a normal thing that is like done or understood. But yeah, I like I really wanted to like move into my body this morning and like that's what happened I was like, oh, I need to I need to express this I need to share this so when you feel there's some sort of numbness There's something else do not be fooled by that go underneath that pattern Okay, in journaling sometimes I see people they'll be like, oh, well But if you did know what would it be if you did know what would it be and that works for some people that are like really aligned with the journaling thing um, and if you just choose to hold space and you choose, I'm going to receive the answer, I am going, to, of course I can easily receive the answer. Of course I can go to the pattern underneath the pattern. Of course I can energetically get underneath this. Then you will be able to energetically get underneath it. And things can be really different and they can change. So, hold on, I want to say one more thing. Different emotional states in the body are almost like computer programs to a certain degree. It's like they play out over and over and over and over again. You can almost say that a certain emotional feeling is like wearing a certain article of clothing, right? Like you have this coat on and you always have it on and like that's how you feel when you're in the coat. And I feel like what I want to express today is you are not trapped by your emotional states. You are not trapped by how these things that you feel, right? You can take off the coat, just like shimmy it right off and drop that emotional state and drop that way of being, etc. If it's a chronic emotional state you've had for a long time, the energetic bottom of that might be a fragment of consciousness when you were little. I mean, it could be, you know, some sort of trauma that you had and that part got fragmented out. You know, a lot of times, like, divorce, very traumatic, you know, obviously, obviously. Moving, job loss, these things are difficult, and sometimes we get fragmented out. And you don't need to stay fragmented out. You can integrate these aspects of self and bring them at, back into the body and be whole again. It's not this, like, long, drawn-out, difficult process. Like, if you're doing something and you're not getting rapid results, then drop that thing and do the thing that does help you and does allow things to integrate and enfold back into place because that's what needs to happen. And I feel like working on these deeper levels of consciousness and deeper states is, I would like it very much if these came more out into the forefront of consciousness and the ways of dealing with things because it's so freaking easy. It's so And I feel like it's our default state. It's our default way of doing and believing and seeing. And I just feel like, yeah, I feel like I want to bring more of that forward and I want to express more of that with you guys. But anyway, that was what I felt called to talk about today. Do not be fooled when it looks like you're at the bottom of a pattern. You are not at the bottom of the pattern. Go underneath the pattern energetically like a ninja, <laughs> right? And then be like, oh, what is underneath that? What is this? What is what needs to happen? What is the divine thing that needs to happen? What is more aligned? What is the ultimate truth? Like just keep, you can just 
and you can do this fast man you can do this fast i've transformed massive patterns in 8 to 12 minutes <laughs> like it doesn't need to be hard you can so do it when you're like when you know and you're not fooled and you have a lot of experience you're just like done okay and then of course some patterns take 30 minutes oh god maybe even 45 minutes to really like really get in there and like pull out those roots of the pattern okay depends on the pattern all patterns are different i usually track for doneness to see when i'm done right so i'll calibrate on a scale of one to ten like how done am i on this pattern some patterns take multiple sessions for me to be done on them but anyways yes so that was what was on my heart this morning that was what i wanted to share with you guys and right now i have um quantum emotional clearing sessions that are open they are slightly different than what I just talked about, although obviously if that came up in the session, then we would do what I just talked about. But I've been systematically emotionally clearing um, states of emotional resonance out of my body and out of all the clients that show up. And it's really freaking awesome. It like allows things to move massively fast. So you can, you can, you can approach a pattern from multiple angles. You can approach a pattern from the archetypal space, journey space that I explained in this video. You could ap approach it from just systematically clearing out and neutralizing the charge of the emotions, which is what I'm doing in the quantum uh, emotional clearing sessions that I have. If you want a book, you can go to my website, you'll see it. I talk more about it there. Uh, you can also approach a pattern from the journaling perspective. Um, you could approach a pattern from, I don't have it with me, but I have an acupuncture doll and sometimes I'll track energetic patterns off the body on the acupuncture doll. So you can do things that way as well. Like there's multiple ways to approach a pattern and I'll just do whatever intuitively comes to me. But I've been really liking the quantum emotional clearing sessions lately. Like they're like so much fun. Oh my God. And it's such an easy way to like bring new states of feeling and new states of consciousness into the body and like ground it and anchor it and like make it make it real because you can just like remove computer programs remove emotional states of consciousness and just like put new ones in as if you're like inserting a disc on a drive like it's really fun and it becomes real when you like move that energy through the body and you move it through the chakra systems, you move it through the meridian systems, etc. The only reason why you keep getting what you're getting is because you have these chronic emotional states, associations, etc. And you've run these energies, whether they're positive or negative, through the body over and over and over and over again. And if you don't want that, if you don't want to continue to feel that way, be that way, etc., then you've got to press the eject button on those emotions and start bringing in and embodying the emotions of what you want. Of course I have this. Of course this is the way things get to go for me. Of course this is easy. Of course this is fun. Of course everything is flowing. Of course, like, it's all working out, right? And when those are your chronic emotional states, the universe has no choice but to respond to you. It has no choice but to give you exactly what it is that you are expressing like inside of you that is flowing out, then you will receive that in return. Right? Right. <sighs> All right, guys, this has been a beautiful live stream. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you want to get in on one of the emotional uh, quantum clearing sessions, let me know. You can either PM me on my personal page or the book now button is on the front of my website. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing these. I've been feeling in my body maybe like two and a half weeks. I'm going to have to get into it and feel where I am with that because I feel another offer that's kind of like brewing. But right now, this is what I am super aligned with and I'm really, really excited. All right, guys. So if you want to work with me, you can go to the book now button on my website and you can see my calendar, etc. Okay. Bye. I'll talk to you guys later.